What is the meaning of mechanical, guys? No. This fuel injection pump, yeah. Yeah. this fuel injection pump yeah. engage with, with the camshaft and the crankshaft and the fuel injection pump here. Fuel injection pump here, engage with the crank yeah. and engage with the cam. And the fuel injection pump, mechanical fuel injection pump, should be timed yeah. with the crank and the cam because the system is mechanical. All right, guys? All right. This is the part that you need to be careful. My system is mechanical or my system is electronic. If I have, look at this mechanical. We are going to analyze this picture and next we are going to see the other picture, uh, the common rail system. Okay, in this one, in this one, guys, the gear of the fuel injection pump, the gear of the crank, and the gear of the cam, all of them, they have marks. You remember in your engine, the marks, the dots, and they should be aligned according with the manufacturer specification. And this is according with piston number one in the majority of the engines, in some engines with number six, but in the majority with piston number one. When piston number one is at the end of the compression with both valves close. close. In that point, this mark, this mark, this and this should be should be aligned according with the specification of that manufacturer. Good? Yeah. All right. What is the meaning of that? If I have a fuel injection pump like this, what is the, dif the difference between this mechanical fuel injection pump and this mechanical fuel injection pump also? This is? Three, yeah. three, this is? Six. In line, and this is rotary. Ah, this is for one, two, three, four, five, six cylinder, and this is for one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, but this is in line, and this is like a distributor. You, you understand? Both of them are mechanical. There are manufacturers that you can order the same engine with the in line pump or rotary pump. No problem. Okay, guys, follow me. Rotary pump or inline pump. This fuel injection pump, this fuel injection pump, this fuel injection pump is a replica of the big engine. This fuel injection pump is a replica of the big six cylinder engine. Everybody follow me? This small engine, cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six, is a replica of the big one. Cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six. What is the meaning of that? Yes. If in the main engine, piston number one is at the end of compression in top the center, what happened with the plunger number one in the fuel injection pump? Pumping. It's at top the center. It's pumping. Ah, yes, because this is the moment that I need that the injector spray. Ah, in other words, this pump should be synchronized with this engine. If you disassemble this pump, you found that internally here, one small camshaft. And this camshaft is identical to the big camshaft of the engine. The position of the loads are identical. The angle and the, and the, and the, and the point is exactly the same. When this plunger is in top the center, the piston number one is in top the center in the engine. When this one is in the bottom, the, the, the number five is in the bottom. You understand, guys? Yeah. Ah, in other words, they were synchronized. Engine and, engine and fuel injection pump. Both of them are synchronized. The mechanical fuel injection pump is a replica of the big engine. The plungers in the mechanical fuel injection pump are moving at the same speed than the, the plungers in the big engine, than the pistons in the big engine. When this piston is in top of the center, plunger one is in top of the center and send the fuel, because I need the fuel in that moment. We are going to refresh the picture, guys. Look at the picture. Fuel tank. The fuel tank pass for the? Separators. Water separator filters. In this particular case, there are two water separator filters. 
after the water separator filters and uh, the, the, those are primary filters or water separator. After that, you have another filter. This is secondary, secondary filter. Look at this. Look at this. Primary filter or water separator. And this is secondary, secondary filter. Normally, the secondary filter is bolted here on the block. in the area of the engine. In some, in some case, in a bracket together with the block. Good? This is the secondary and this is the primary or what is it? water separator. Okay. After the secondary filter, I enter in this element. What is this? Priming pump. Yeah. Look at the priming pump here. Priming pump. Manual, mechanical or lifting pump. Okay. After the lifting pump, the fuel enter and goes out and enter in the in the injector. Look, enter in the fuel injection pump. The fuel injection pump compress the fuel dramatically and send the fuel at ultra high pressure into the injector. This is the mechanical system. This is the situation. Pay attention. In this particular case, the fuel injection pump is not is not is not aligned with the cran and the cam. Cran and cam, yes because this is part of the engine. The crank shaft and cam shaft should be aligned. But the fuel injection pump, no. You can connect, the f it's mechanical, it's mechanical, you connect the fuel injection pump in any position. And that mechanical fuel injection pump is ultra high pressure. Mechanical, but it's high pressure. And that mechanical pressure, look at this, the system is the same. I have the fuel tank, I have the transfer pump, the primary filters or water separators, after that, the secondary filter. After that, the priming pump or lifting pump, mechanical. And after that, the fuel injection pump, fuel injection pump, like common rail, common rail. Look at this, common rail. Could be electrical or mechanical, no problem. Common rail. That pressure receives low pressure at the input and sent in the output high pressure, more than 7,000 PSI. And with that pressure, Pressurize, pressurize this element. What is this? The common rail. And now the common rail is pressurized. And from the common rail, the fuel enter in individual injectors. From the common rail, the fuel enter here internally in the cavities of the head. They have the cavities and the fuel enter here at ultra high pressure. And this is the return, you see? The return. Those are cavities in the cast of the head. In this moment, the fuel is, is over there, but the fuel no enter if the, if the injector not receive the signal from the computer. This common rail is always pressurized because the pump is, is running. The, the fuel injection pump, the fuel injection pump right. is connected with the gear, with the crank and the cam. And that, that, that common rail is pressurized. In other words, the fuel at the input of the fuel injection of the fuel injector is, is entering. But the fuel only enters if the injector receives the signal, the signal from, from computer. the computer. This injector, this injector, open close, open close, open close, depending on depending yeah. computer. the computer. And the computer sends and re send and remove that signal because a couple of sensors. Which sensors? Map sensor. Cam and crank. Depending on the position of the cam and the crank. Oh, right now it's in top. Open. No, it's in the bottom. Up. Up, 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 And the signal is around, around five volts, 4.7 volts. That signal to open and close the injector depends on the computer. Ah, all the injectors, they have fuel pressurized ready to enter over there. But the fuel only enters if the signal is activated. In other words, if I lose this ball, this, this, this nut, and the engine is running, in all of them is going out fuel at high pressure. This is why you say I have 
I have misfiring in my engine. How can I identify easily where is the misfiring, in which cylinder is the misfiring? How can I identify that? In that engine, electronic fuel injection system and a common rail system. How can I know if it's in the number one or number five or number two? So I, lose, yeah. I lose the nut of the line entering in that injector. If the, if the misfiring increase, yeah. what happened? This is working. Yes, I type. Now I pass to the second one. I lose a little the line and the misfiring continues the same. Now I stop my engine. I open the cover here and I check the cables coming in. I connect my multimeter and I start the engine again. What happened in normal condition if I connect my multimeter DC here? What happened? Should be zero, 4.7. Zero, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five. It's nothing. Ah, I don't have signal coming in here. Where is coming the signal? Computer. From the computer. Oh, I go to the manual and I identify injector number two are pins 15 and 17. Ah, okay. Let me punch those cables with needles and I verify when the engine is running if I have power coming out through the computer. No? Zero. What is the problem? Computer. The computer. Or, yes, I have five volts, five zero, five zero, five zero, five zero. My computer is good. What is the problem? The harness, the harness, bingo. 